Hello everyone and welcome to the program. I'm Sean Joaquin Baloy in Lagos. It is 208 days to the general elections of 2019 and as the day draws close, there are intense political overtures and all of the activities of the key actors are in view of the critical 2019 general election. So we are keeping tabs on the top stories for you. So let's tell you that in quick succession, uh, candidates are emerging in the different political parties for the Austrian state governorship election. The election is later to hold in the Southwest state on the, the 22nd of September 2018, and it will be the last major activity or election of the electoral umpire ahead of the 2019 general election. So the top political parties there, the People's Democratic Party and the APC now know their candidates. For the PDP, Senator Ademola Adeleke as a match as a candidate of his party is currently serving as a senator representing Ocean State and the National Assembly after he took the seat over from his late brother. And the chief of staff to the governor, Mr. Yatala, is also the APC candidate. So it's going to be an intense election, we hope. Other candidates are imagined from the Reformation Party to the Accord Party and the SZP. Well, the past weeks has, have, seen, have not been the very smooth one for the ruling of Progressive Congress APC. The new national executive of the party led by Adams Oshiamale has been very busy lately, trying to douse the tension and calm and strain nerves over the threats of a possible exodus of aggrieved members out of the party. When the reformed APC, a faction or a splinter group in the APC, made up of some aggrieved members left the party, or they say they are uh, angry and they formed the splinter group, the APC did say they wouldn't lose sleep over their action. Recent activities of members of the APC with members of the main opposition party, PDP, will perhaps give the APC leadership some deep thinking. Take, for example, uh, governor of uh, Sokoto State, Aminu Tambua, uh, was he commissioned projects in River State a uh, few weeks ago. He's of the APC, and days later, the Senate president, also of the ruling APC, Bukola Saraki, was also in River State to commission a project. Well, last week, both the Senate President and the Governor of Sokoto State, Aminu Tambua, Governor of Kora State, Abul Fatah Ahmed, all of them, of the APC, were in a meeting with Governor of uh, River State, uh, Wike, uh, Indian Sum Wike, and some other PDP leaders, uh, such as uh, the Chairman of the party. Well, they were there for the burial rights of the late mother of uh, an APC chieftain, also a member of the NPDP group in the APC, uh, Kau Baraji. What could be the interpretation of the activities of these political players? So last week also, the Senate president was at a meeting at a presidential villa where the vice president and some APC governors were in attendance. More intriguing is the statement of the governor of Benue State about his future and his politi next political move. Take a listen to him. What we're passing through today, let party not divide us. Let ethnicity not divide us. Let us be united. As for party, I think right now, as I talk to you, I've been given red card, so I am outside the pitch. So if I've been given red card and I'm standing outside, I am free. I'm the free man. <laughs> so I don't know what will happen next, but I'm waiting. If uh, others feel that I'm important and they come to me, then I will tell the Benue people that uh, I'm joining another football club. Governor Samuel Autumn of Benue State, member of the APC, he had at some point spoken about his future about two or three times in the past week. Well, 
the PDP and the APC are already hitting at each other. PDP says the APC is now dead. Why APC says the PDP is seeking life after death. In the middle of all of these is the fact that the reformed APC says they are not backing down on the plans, uh, on their plans and have rubbished the reconciliation efforts of some APC leaders. They, in fact, hinted that about five APC governors and several lawmakers are set to dump the ruling APC. Let's get perspectives on this matter, everyone. Joining me from our Abuja studio is the spokesperson of the reformed APC, Mr. Kass and in the Lagos studio with me is a member of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Mr. Ken Okolubo. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining us on the program tonight. Let's begin uh, with, uh, with you, Mr. Afegboa, in uh, our Abuja studio. Mr. Afegboa, uh, you said today in a statement that uh, just, uh, uh, you said, and I quote, just make the point that it is too late in the day. The train has left the station. Leopards cannot change their spots, no matter how much one tries to tame them. What do you mean by that? Hello? All right, let no, me quickly, you. I, I, I guess you, you did not get that question. But let me ask you quickly again. You said today in a statement that you released on behalf of the reformed APC, you did say that you wanted to make a point that it is too late in the day. The train has left the station. Leopards cannot change their sport, no matter how much one tries to tame them. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Thank you, Sheung. The, the, uh, the statement emanates from the viewpoint that there have been so much pressure, so much carrot being dangled before our members. So we decided to issue this statement to remind them where we are coming from and that the APC, as it were, cannot ch change from being what it is. That's a, a, that's a party that doesn't feel that we are important, a party that doesn't respect the wishes and aspirations of Nigerians, a party that feels that they are made up of too many big men and so every other person is not important. And so now that elections are coming, they are suddenly waking up and trying to reach out to, to persons who, be, who belong to this RAPC. They are now beginning to take an, uh, a, a self-examination to Un understand the, 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 the new dynamics in the politics of 2019. So that statement was just a, a statement of caution that 2019 by the corner, we've, we've seen scenarios where persons are pleaded with, where persons are begged. We have also had scenarios in this country where a president, you know, reportedly, you know, uh, pleaded with uh, his vice. Or, and uh, in the final analysis, we knew what happened, and t today, that the, the, the person is still suffering that particular uh, scenario. And so it's just a note of caution that APC will, will be APC. Impunity, imposition, flagrant abuse of due process and all of that. And this was not the party we envisaged. And that was why we decided to alert our members to you know, be conscious of what they entered into, what kind of carrots have been dangled before them so that uh, they don't fall into the trap that other people before them fell into. 